Okay, let's try to be quick and painless about making this thumbnail. Marijuana, legalization, polit politicization, and commercialization. Okay, so, of course, we're going to look for marijuana. And we will see images. That one right there is nice. Right? This one's pretty nice. That's, I think all we need is that first type image. All right, it might be a little small. What we want to do is save image as so JPEG. We'll name it Wazid. Wazid. All right. So what we want to do here is open up Photoshop. Now, what I do is I open up previous templates of thumbnails I've done before. But let's go ahead and do that. Or you can do open new. I'm going to open it just because I have things in there. So the last one I did was on herpes. Open. Sorry. Let's just open it over here. Images. Herpes. That was the last one I made. So, how to cure herpes in Photoshop. We'll open that up. And this will give me, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put save as. And as we save it as, we are going to save it as this. Copy, control C. Paste it. So we created a new one. Now, I forgot to mention last time, let's look at the dimensions. Image canvas size. It's your image, your canvas size, image size, canvas size. Okay, not in inches, but in pixels. Okay, so it's 1440. Didn't realize that. That's interesting. Image size in pixels. Okay, well, that's interesting. So my size is what? Properties. It's 1440. Oh, uh, I don't know where that came from. Come from a screenshot? No. All right, anyway. This is the aspect ratio of a, uh, you could do 1920 by 1080. Image canvas size. So let's just say we did it in pic um, pixels and we did 1920 by 1080. Let's see what would happen. Shrink it. New canvas is smaller than current one canvas size. Some clipping will occur, so it's just going to shrink it. Well, anyway, Control Z, Control Alt Z. I don't like that G-force experience. Um, the aspect ratio is that of uh, 16 by 9, so it's your typical 1920 by 1080 you can use. All right, what do we want to do here? We want to trash her picture. I know why those, I know why it was set at that because my monitor is set at 2K and when I take screenshots and import them for um, photo editing, then they become the aspect ratio of the monitor. Okay, so what I need to do is pull in that weed picture. And blow it up by holding shift and dragging the corners. 
enter. And then what? What's what's the commercialization of it? Money. 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 Let's do um, marijuana commercialize commercialization images. That's interesting. That is actually very interesting. I think I might just take that image. Just clip to it. I think I might just clip to that there. Save image as desktop. Let's just do money. Money. Look at this. Look at that. We want more than ones. We want hundreds. Want Benjamin Franklin's like this. Yeah, something like that. Save image to the desktop. What I meant to say earlier is your aspect ratio. It's going to be the same as your thumbnail. So let's just say I were to open up my my videos and I put in marijuana and I get this video. What I can do is open this video, open that, sorry, that's loud, open the video, open it full screen, F11 in the Media Player Classic, and then let it play. Well, actually, find a frame rather. Let's say I wanted, let's you know, admit. Let's just say that I wanted this to be my frame, right? And I would hit print screen on my keyboard and it would make a screenshot of that image. And I could actually go into my Dropbox screenshots and I could pull that image in and it would be the exact same size of my frame. So we don't want, I don't think we want this guy for any purpose. What I would like is to throw something like money bills on there. Money bills. And then I'll throw on a, a, um, over here and put on a hue and saturation and pump up the saturation, try to make it more green. green that's okay for now am I crazy is money not green maybe it's not green okay um what I can do is I can open another layer And this one can be, these can all be hidden. And let's just say I get some green going on here. And then I'll paste it with my paint bucket. Why, why it turned blue is beyond me. Oh, because it's through the, the saturation here that was changed. That's very interesting. So I take that off, it's going to be green. All right, so let's just say I want to throw this green on top of the money, and then I want to bring the opacity down. And then let's say I want to slap on this color corrector, put this back down to zero. Then I want to throw the filter on for sharpen the unsharp mask, pop up the contrast heavily. that um, let me put 
put this on overlay. No. Not liking that. Soft light, no. Hard light. Lighten, no. Screen, no. Multiply. Ooh, I kind of like that. That's a cool background. Interesting. Okay, so then next, on top of that, I don't think we're going to be using this leaf. But let's pull in our Marlboro image, which got put behind everything. We're going to pull it in front of everything, and then we're going to take that image, click on this tool. Sorry, I like to work. I mean, my monitor's pretty big, 27 inches, so I like to work like this because it leaves my desktop available where I can drag things back and forth, but whatever. I'll try to full screen it for now. You can even zoom in. And then I'll click Control T on this image and drag it out and drag it out to about I don't know, let's move it over here. Drag it down. Maybe even rotate it. We don't see where it says cigarettes. We just have it like that. Right about there ish. Right about there ish. Hit enter. What we're going to do is to remove that. Come back to the money. The unsharp mask. We can actually bring it way down now preview off preview on off on a little sharper 2.2 off on sharpen that throw this picture back on throw the same sharp on that one off on can raise it up a little off on off on it's making a little uh, getting a little pixelated down there more visibly pixelated okay that's okay for now we'll hit okay and then what we're going to do is go to this tool poly polygonal polygonal lasso tool and we're just going to go like this start click here down, come down, come down ish and around ish. See here, it's kind of hard to see where the actual cigarette pack is down here. Come back around here. Send this all the way down here, back up, back over to about, actually let's come in right, click here, come over to about here, come back up, back over, and around. I can't even see where it's cut out. Oh, I missed it. Undo. Anyway, we'll come back here. I believe that's the edge. I can't even see it. But we'll come up and we'll come back to full circle there. And then we will press this mask button over here, which masked it out. Then we can go to feather. Pull up the pull in the feather just a little bit to blur the edges. And look at that. We're already getting somewhere nice for a thumbnail. And then after this, I don't know, I kinda like it like that. So we could throw on over here a curves. The curves can pop some brights and crunch 
some darks, make everything pop more. This is without, this is with, without, with, without, with. Actually, I don't like it on the money, I like it on the, the Marlboro. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold Alt and click right here, and it should only put it on the Marlboro. Now the money's not affected by this. It linked it to that channel. All right. Looking good. Might possibly want to sharpen it a little more, but really doesn't need to be. So I put back on this layer, filter. I'll do the same unsharp mask, and then we'll zoom in. Off, on. So I'm looking at this. Off, on. Looking for the pixelation around here. Off, on. You can see a little pixelation around the edges. So we'll cut back less. Sharpening. Off, on. Off, on. On is good. We'll click OK. Zoom out. I'm going to pull in now my images. Tag times. And we'll get, let's say, this logo, or this one. Let's throw this one in, we'll stick it here, okay, hit enter. Now, it doesn't really match, so it's kind of bugging me out because of the color. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold, I'm going to click this green layer, and I'm going to hold Alt. Actually, I'm going to bring this tech times above to the top. I'm going to click this green layer, hold Alt, and drag it up above the tech times. Then I'm going to hold Alt, and I'm going to click right here in between, and it's going to link that color to the tech times. So now it made it that color but it still is just not working. So what needs to be done is, we might want to try this other logo instead. The colors already blend a little more. So we'll close that one and we'll bring this tool, slide it back over here, control T, make it a little smaller. And then what we'll try to do with this one is come down here, do like an outer glow, pick the color, let's pick the white because we have all this white here. Click OK, spread it, size it, opacity, opacity it, spread it lower size it bigger, spread it more, no, less, okay, let's go to the drop shadow, see if we could add a major drop shadow behind that, mm, it's looking a little weird now, Okay, forget the drop shadow for now. Let's go to stroke. We'll outline the thing, click on the stroke, make it a little thicker. There we go. Kind of like that. I don't know how it's going to look small, because that's the thing is, those thumbnails get really small sometimes, like on a phone. But I think that's okay. It's got the tack times kind of like hiding within the green and the money little white shining through from the matches the Marlboro. I think that's good. We're good. I like that. I'm loving it. Um, yeah, I think it's okay. I think we're good to go. So I'm going to go file, save. I might tweak it later, but for now, I'm really kind of liking that glow might be a little too much so click back down here to the effects the glow maybe spread it less 
No, I kind of like the spread. Size it smaller. You could have it like just glowing around the. Nah. I liked it better like this. I just don't like it becoming a square. I kind of like it as a circle. So. About there is pretty cool. Click OK. Um, there are other ways we could do this too. We could introduce like a over here gradient tool. Come up here and find like a some kind of gradient. exactly want to deal with it. I don't exactly want to deal with the gradient, but let's just say, let's just say we did. It's getting a little too complex here. Oh, there's an old, there's an old one behind it. What's that there for? We don't need that old one. We could delete that old one. Now let's look at that gradient. Well, this color should be white. Oh, what happened? It just slapped on this whole gradient on top of the there we go. So maybe make the gradient black, from black to white. It's just going to darken this area. So when we put back the tack times, it pops a little more. Let's check without it. See, it's brighter. With it, it's darker, but I don't like how it's making the cigarette looking thing darker. So maybe pull it back to what I really want to do is make it white, but I just don't even want to deal with it because then I'm going to have to start looking up tutorials myself. I think it's good like this. I think it's actually good without, but it's okay. It's better with it. Just makes it a little darker in the corner there. That's all. A little darker in the corner. Actually, I kind of like it better without. No, I don't. It's hard to tell. I don't like how it's blocking this section here. Let's see if that did anything. Barely. Right, so maybe if you slapped on the, um, come back over here, slap on the drop shadow, and then move the drop shadow, actually size it big, and that's your drop shadow right there, so maybe move it up here, spread it more. change the color of it to like a dark green. Or a white, what if it's white? No. Dark. Just blurs up in the corner here. It just kind of makes it let's see. I still don't like the blackish color to it. So come back to the drop shadow, see if I take it off, it's gone. So let's see if what happens if I make it white. Spread it out even more. Is it even there? I don't even see it. 
I don't even see a difference with it there or not. That's white. I can make it dark green. Oh, there it is. So it's just putting a shadow back there. So if I take it off, it's a little brighter. So that just kind of blurs things a little bit. It's fine. It's good enough. I'm done. File. Save. Actually, let me see. The other thing that would be cool to do is to take, let's say we take this, move it back up here again. Um, with Alt, I dragged it with Alt, so hold Alt again, click on here, and it applied. Ooh, just made it a lot darker, huh? Not exactly what I was trying to do. But let's just say that if I have this at a hundred percent, I made it super dark. It turned the eyes green. So then if I want to take my Stroke. I can make my stroke white and make it bigger. That's actually kind of cool. It's actually kind of cool because when you think about it, when the video is smaller, that's a lot more visible as a symbol. I don't know. I'm not sold on either one, but. Here's what we can do though. We could, sorry, I keep hitting the microphone. We could take this weed picture here that we didn't use, drag it up here. Oh, look at that. Cover this picture. Take that picture off and take this weed picture. Kind of shift it over. big it is. Control T. If I were to stretch it out even bigger, can we get a whole leaf to cover it? And let's hold Control T and drag it out to the right. Drag it out to the left. To the right. To the left. To the right. Top, bottom, left, right, enter. Eh, it's a little too blurry now. One big leaf is a little too blurry. Let's see what happens when we push this back down. We get that darker look. What we can do is, I know what we can do, delete that layer. We can go back to Google, type weed, and then pull up something like maybe something like this. Something like that. Something like that. I would say something like what looks better. I think that looks better. Save image as desktop. Pull in 
that image. I put it right over this. Drag it out to where it's nice and big. Click Enter. Hold Alt. Click right here. And now we just made a little marijuana logo. The stroke can come down a little bit. Sorry, the stroke is on this channel. It can come down. It's at 32. Let's see what 13 looks like. Let's see what 21 looks like. I kind of like that. Okay. So now, if we make this, what we can do is delete that layer, come back to this channel here. Actually come here. The outer glow. Bring it up a little more like that. Outer glow. Okay, let's check that stroke again, and if we were to make it black, what happens? No, too much. If you put it in the... Put it on the inside. Put it on the center. Kind of like the inside. Let's shrink the stroke down. 13, we'll make it white again. Now it's a little too thin. You gotta put it in the center or the outside. Let's we'll see what that looks like when you shrink it down. Yeah, you can kind of see it. Alright, so now the color of it go to the hue and saturation. Change the, actually hold Alt and click again here between. And now see off, on, you could change the tint of it to about there-ish. Brighten it. No, it's not brighten it. Saturate it. Come back over here on the logo channel. Put this back on outside. All right, I think we're finished. What do you think? I think we're done. Come to the weed, select filter, unsharp mask. See how much sharper it got already. Let's see off, on, it's good to go. I just don't like some of the blurriness, the white blurriness is bugging me out. I'd almost rather just have a white box around that logo. I don't like the shape of the, the outer glow, that's what's been bothering me the whole time, the shape of that. So, wrong channel, this one. Outer glow off. Mm. That's not really going to work. Kind of need the outer glow. Okay, so then we'll spread it less and shrink it down. I think I'm just going to put a box behind that. So
So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to click on this layer. Open this up. Take my tool that's like this. I'm on this layer, so I'm just going to go to switch to the white and then go to my paint bucket and paint that in white. Okay, and I'm going to bring this layer bring this layer up. Okay, that's interesting. That green is messing everything up. I'll delete that layer for now. Delete. Oh, I have a box around it. I need to click that box and click off of it, and then I can delete that layer. But I want to take this. Oh, what just happened? I need to go back. Control Alt Z. Control Alt Z. Control Alt Z. Control Alt Z. I'm going to close this. Control Alt Z there. I mean, is it better with green in the background? I almost kind of like it. I almost kind of liked it how I just had it step forward. Oh, it's because I moved that. It's because I moved this thing. That's why. So, undo, rather, control alt C. No, I'm not going to, there it is. So, I'm control alt C. There we go. I'm going to take off that the glow, put the stroke back to black, and then right here, we're going to draw from here to here to here to here. Here, we're going to take the white, pour the white in. What is the green? Oh, it's the drop shadow. That's the problem. So come back up here and remove the drop shadow. Yeah, it's still bugging me out. There's too much going on. We need a white box. So I'm going to control alt Z, control alt Z, control alt Z. You know what? We're just going to make the, the logo white. Let's go to our weed. Let's go to hue and saturation on our weed. Click this little button to pull it back up. We're going to kill the saturation and raise the white. And I think we're pretty much done. I think we're pretty much done. Go back to tag times. Let's see if I take that off. That's it, eh? No. Oh, we don't want that drop shadow. Drop shadow off. There we go. Control T. Get bigger. Enter.
place it in a little bit. Pull it in, control T, rotate it. Enter. I don't like that rotation, undo that. Drop shadow, drop shadow on. Size, opacity all the way. Spread down, grab over here, drag it. Right about there, spread more. Spread less. Spread less. Bring it in. There we go. We're good. We're done. File. Save. File. Save as. down here. Actually pull this up here. Pull this over. That's kind of interesting. I was going to put this over here. So let's say you control T Spread that out. No. Drag it on the corners. Drag it down. Enter. Oh, I actually like that better than the bills. But I would like it rather over here. And we can get rid of the drop shadow. Or change the color of the drop shadow. The drop shadow is not happening. I have my eyedropper clicking the drop shadow. Okay, you could even take it off and see what happens. It's kind of cool with it off. With it on, makes it pop a little more. So that's it. So then I would say take these bills over here and possibly make them bigger. They're 20s. What happened to the hundreds? Oh, there's the hundreds. So control T. make them bigger like this can even have them like let's see like that hundred dollar bill let's rotate it again there's Benjamin Something like that with the money or with the Benjamins. Money or Benjamins. You pick the money. Let's go with the money. There we go. I think we're good. We're good to go. If we want to take this um, this one right here and throw a light stroke around it, and then you can put the stroke on the center, and then you can actually change the, take the opacity down. And let's zoom in a little bit. 
actually put it on the inside. Take the opacity, bring this size down to like one. Take the opacity down. Take it off. Whoops. Stroke. Stroke off. Stroke on. Stroke off. Stroke on. Stroke off. Stroke on. Put the opacity up. It's a little much. Blending mode. Overlay. Stroke off. Stroke on. Stroke center. Stroke off. Stroke outside. Stroke off. Stroke on. That one looks best. Click OK. There we go. File. Save. Not only differences are in the colors here of the green and stuff, but overall I kind of like it. So let's take the this here, the grass area, the grassy knoll. Let me take this off. Mm, that's kind of better. So I think it's just this green that's bugging me out. Maybe we can change this green or lessen it. The opacity and change it. We need to change the screen. Let's come over here and we'll eye drop some green. Maybe that green. And then we will paste it. There we go. Already better. Already a little better. And we'll throw on, we'll make it 40%, 50%, 60%, 60 is too much, 50, Alright, we'll come over to this grass here. And throw on a curves. We're going to like brighten it a little bit. Hold alt and click it right here between. It's going to only affect the grassy knoll. Come back up to this tack times. Take off the drop shadow. Uh, change my stroke color to maybe this dark green there so it wasn't fully black just a dark very dark green okay come back to this channel go to drop shadow and add some size, some spreadage, some opacity, less size, less more spread, less size. spread here, size up. Actually, more like this I think is better. More spread. Right about there-ish. That's without, that's with. So now there's a separation between the Marlboro and everything. And then over here, 
I'm going to take this. Actually, what I'm going to do is take this tool. Create a circle, a bigger circle. I'm going to take this circle and put it a bigger circle. Take this circle, put it in the middle. I'm going to come over here and see what I got as far as a blur tool. I'll take a blur tool. We'll come over here, rasterize this layer take my blur tool and just smudgy things up a little bit here in the center right there we go blurry it up okay click off of the circle and back It's okay, right? It's okay. I'd say that's okay. Nice and small. You can see the sign. There we go. A lovely thumbnail by spl splicing multiple images together. File, save as. It's not going to let me because it's still saving down here. Now it should let me file save as. JPEG, marijuana legalization, politicization, and commercialization, save, that's got to be under 2 megs, so there's good, come back to the video, close you, close you, thank you for all your help. <laughs> Custom thumbnail, marijuana, and there it is. Open it. Get rid of all these downloads. Save it. And the new thumbnail has been processed. You got your bills, you got your Marlboro, got your Weederette, Weederette, Weederettes. Weed cigarette. Look at this. Three arguments why marijuana should stay illegal. Reviewed. All right. Let's go back to the channel. And see if our thumbnail is there for all our viewers. There it is. Look at that. There it is. What more can you ask for? Control plus and minus also zooms right in your browser too, in case you didn't know that. What more could you ask for? How to cure herpes in Photoshop, and the legalization and politicization. That one word itself is a tongue twister, and commercialization. If you hold control and press zero, you come back to normal size. Good to go. All good to go. Make sure you like and subscribe and watch and share and subscribe and like and watch and share and subscribe and like and watch. Goodbye.